the Elder God Shrine. Right, so this has 105 monsters and three secrets. Right, I think I, the uh, fiends come to life when I uh, start shooting, I think. But I do have nails, which is quite good. Definitely makes it easier once you've killed the first one. Uh, unfortunately, I got clipped there. Shooting that uh, panel there will open this window. And I think I remember when I first played this level that I was baffled as to how to get out of this room. But that's how you do it. about the uh, ogres on this side of the uh, upstairs. What I tend to do in this level at this bit is just to perch myself up here and you're going to get a lot of respawning uh, fiends for a few minutes until a certain number's reached. I'm not, so, I'm not sure how many it is, but uh, you get several that will come through here. Luckily, not all at once. And I tend to perch myself up here, and, or at least anywhere up here, and uh, take them down. It's much safer that way. Do I have to press something first? I might have to, actually. Uh... Well, that's one of them. Oh, wonderful. And there's another one by the looks of it, the sounds of it. Right, so we should now finally start seeing uh, fiends enter this room every so often. So we've killed 12 so far, it's a big level, it's uh, one of Sandy Peterson's level level designs, which I think is brilliant. Alright. I'm not sure how many eventually come through. It might be three or four, something like that. We've got enough shells to sit up here and uh, just uh, take pot shots at the fiends. Here's another one. Fortunately, they don't have the, uh, the sort of height. Uh, the height of their leap isn't like a Chimera's that you'd find in uh, Stalker. So they tend to jump sort of lengthways rather than up. So you're quite safe up here. Thank <laughs> you. 
right, there shouldn't be too many left now. Might as well grab the extra uh, nails there. Imagine facing all this lot as you walked in if they were already here. <laughs> it would be somewhat unfair, I think, or very unfair. But amusing as well. Just wonder if there's any more to come. Ah, oh, yeah, there's one. I don't think I've ever had one go up the slope before, not that I can recount. So that's what, one, two, three, four, five, that could be six, I'm not sure quite how many that are there, seven. Plus two in the first room. So that's nine. There's another one. So as you can see, you get quite a few of them. Possibly more than I alluded to, actually. Glad they're not shamblers. And yet another one. <laughs> well, I've I've never experienced that before. Um, that's amazing. First one I can recall going up the slope. Oh, get up there for God's sake. And then <laughs> and then he turns around and jumps at me, which is less surprising, but it's still sort of added to the surprise. But well, that was really good. Surely there are no more left. Surprise me though if another one did turn up. If I remember rightly, you get uh, scrags in those sort of back passages or those alcoves at the very back there where I'm pointing. There's one. Certainly chugs the frame rate when you. Uh, don't think I can avoid picking these up. Yeah, that's unfortunate. There's a few of these sort of alcoves in this level. Uh, generally don't contain very much. But 
but uh, that's not always the case. And also in this level, as you can probably tell, you get plenty of zombies as well. Which I think really do the level justice. What was that? Is that a fiend? No, it's zombies. I forgot about those teleporting in there. more than I remember. May as well take the quad damage to kill the fiend that's going to jump out at me any second. And here you'll get lots of scrags. If I remember rightly, oh, I didn't mean to take that. I think you get about between 8 and 12 that come out of here. I think I better grab some health before I end up uh, croaking it. Better grab the green armor. So, as you can see, this level is all about numbers, really. It's, it's a lot of everything in this level. There's another two. Probably is it, although I wouldn't swear to it until I, uh, you know, I believe it when I see it. Right, I think that. How many secrets do we have at the moment? None. Right, so that's 68 out of the 105 kills, so quite a few have been taken out now. The odd one of these does count as a secret, maybe just the one. Alright, that was that was that one then. Just checking there was no scrags in there. Uh, need the silver key for that door. Bugger. I forgot about this guy until almost it was too late, but be careful of these spawns, they are lethal. They are possibly the most dangerous enemy in the game, actually. <laughs> to dispatch the knights as normal, they're pretty easy to deal with.
So this is a very e easy secret area to find. Just have to press that switch on the wall there. Feels a bit like a low frame rate, a bit choppy at the moment. But I suppose it's uh, partly down to the size of the level. Alright, how are we doing for nails? Uh, I don't think we need much else at the moment. I will probably save that until I really need it. But it's quite a clever little uh, section that the way it raises up and down and yeah, it's all very neat. Here's Scrags in the background there. And as before I do like the uh, attention to detail with uh, some of these designs, they look really good. what I didn't want to do was to touch the shells. I forgot all about those. Right, so when you see a spawn you need to take them down as really as fast as you can. Or just get the hell out of there. blurping kind of sound they make. Right, I have Did I take it down? But normally when they come up like that and they start to come towards you, that's the time you need to get out of there. Because uh, they're so unpredictable. Well, I think this is uh, a good place to save because uh, this bit can be a little bit challenging. I don't think there's enough range on the grenade launcher here to draw any creatures out, but I will try. No, doesn't work, but... Uh, that's what you want to avoid. I think if you fall into that, there's no getting out of it. There's no way you're going to make it, unless you're very good at rocket jumps, maybe, <laughs> and very, very uh, skillful with your precision. That went wrong, very wrong. Oh, that went completely wrong. Luckily, I saved where I did. Normally, I make it through there no problem. But uh, I don't know. I think I just took it a bit casually, or maybe just got flustered. I'm not sure what happened there. All right, let's try again. <laughs> Big difference. I think the fiend went into the lava. Uh, but I don't think... No, it's not dead. God, that noise made me jump. Oh, it's dead now, because that did say 87, so that was it sort of smoking at the end there. I'll see if I can show you. 
right in the distance near the end of the pit. That's uh, that's what's left of the fiend. secret left, which I know where it is, but I'm going to be saving it until near the end, as per usual. Um, only 17 creatures left to kill. Need the gold key. I can hear the scrags, but I don't know where they are at the moment. You always do hear them uh, in this spot, but uh, so I don't think it's a bug or anything. I don't believe it is anyway, but I uh, kind of can't remember what you have to do to activate them, but uh, uh, maybe it's using the silver key, so let's try that. Wasn't so bad. Just a lot of them. I'm not sure if there's a spawn around here, no. And this just takes you back into the room where the slope is. Uh, right, I've only got 10 left to kill. I don't think I'm even going to need the damage though it is fun to use so may as well use it now I can see the scrag I just saw a scrag go to the left at the end there and I think there's going to be some ogres here so that's the end of the level almost Five potentially left. Uh, now this is a slightly different situation to normal. Normally I wouldn't take uh, something like a green or a yellow suit of armour near the end of the level because uh, if there's a red suit uh, waiting for me, which there is. Uh, but in this case I think you have to take this to get this to open up. Oh, there would have to be another one of these, wouldn't there? <laughs> Right, okay, that's him taken care of. I did I forgot all about him. But uh, you have to take uh Oh no, I was wrong. I uh, stand corrected, I take that back. No, you don't have to take the yellow suit of armor to get the last secret. I've just suddenly remembered where it is, it's uh further back. Uh I think it's no, it's not, not there. I don't know why I thought it was there when I know that it's over here. Right. Uh, I'm not sure if any creatures will come out, but I'll take the quad damage anyway. There it is there. So, oh, we've killed all the creatures, right? Okay, so that's everything. So I can now load, uh, load up on anything I want. So let's grab the nails, the yellow armor, uh, red armor, uh, some more shells. Look at the shadows; just looks great. So all there's left to do is just to jump through. I don't think there's any 
Oh, there might be some shells lying around. I've got 200 nails. Um, yeah, some shells there. So yeah, I think this is a very well-designed level. Uh, I think it's one of the best in Quake, actually. Uh, I didn't think the le level was going to end then. I thought it was a bug or something. But uh, thankfully, finally it did. So uh, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, please subscribe and like. And I'll see you again in Quake Epsilon with uh, various modifications. Thank you and goodbye. I've only just noticed if you look at the side of that wall there and you can see the raindrops bouncing off it. That I've never noticed before. That looks really great. Right, I really am going now.